coffee. I was bogging this morning, really, really tired. But after drinking this stuff, oh, it gets me freaking going. This coffee's got something in it, I swear. I didn't even drink coffee until I found this stuff. Anyway, we're talking editing today. Everything from computers, monitors, storage, speakers, keyboards, mouses, everything that I use to edit my videos and that I've learned I need, don't need, and want. I'm gonna walk you through it all right now. What's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Brand new. We're here. First day of the weekly series. We're on it. I'm freaking out. It feels really good. Uh, but yeah, today we're talking about my editing setup. A question I get all the time. What do I recommend? So on and so forth. Well, let's jump right into it. First things first, it's the zone. Get yourself a productive workspace because it's gonna change your life. I can't stress this enough. It took me quite a while to figure out how key it was, but oh my gosh, if you have a clean room, a vibey zone with a candle, I don't know, a Buddha, whatever the hell gets you going. I got these lights. I got, the, I got these lights at TJ Maxx and they're freaking sick, dude. Look at this. Boop, 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 boop. I like the blue, but it just, it gets you in a zone that's like, mm, clear-headed, coffee's in my system, pound a Red Bull if that's what you're into, and get to work. The importance of a productive workspace is key. So that's what I recommend doing first. All right, let's jump into the gear. Let's start with computers. First things first, computers vary, very, very drastically. Very, very, that's funny. I meant to say like V-A-R-Y and then V-E. What I meant to say is that editing setups are gonna oftentimes vary from person to person and filmer to filmer. So if you're a little clouded on what you should get in terms of a computer, maybe I can help clarify. If you're an independent travel filmmaker, you might wanna look into getting a higher end laptop so that you can be an editing workhouse on the go. However, if you're more stationed at home in a local area and don't need to move much, a desktop's gonna be the best call because you're gonna get the most power for the bang for the buck. Oh, and by the way, the best of both worlds is obviously if you can get both, but not everybody can do that. So I found a good little trick that works great for me. Let me show you. For my setup, I'm rocking a Dell XPS 15 laptop. It's got a Core i7 processor, 32 gigabytes of installed RAM, and a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 4 gig graphics card. I'm not gonna get too techy in this video, but the main thing I look for in a computer is the RAM. You want something with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM because these editing softwares are RAM hogs. In my honest opinion though, I recommend spending the most money on your computer when looking into an editing setup. It's the machine behind your edit, and at the end of the day, you're gonna be a lot happier when you have more RAM because it's gonna save you time and save you a lot of frustration from rage smashing your computer into a wall. Moving into that best of both worlds situation, I have my Dell XPS 15 linked to a Dell UltraSharp U2 415 24 inch screen LED monitor. Uh, I just got this thing actually, and no, I'm not sponsored by Dell. I just realized I have a lot of Dell products. Not sponsored by Dell, love their products. Anyway, the U2 415 is a great bang for the buck monitor coming in at $234.98 on Amazon. My personal opinion on monitors is that you don't need to spend too much money here. The main thing I look for is something with color accuracy that looks good across all screens. You don't want a screen that's gonna have weird colors and be too vibrant so that when you go to do your color grade, it looks different on your iPhone than it did on your screen. But in my honest opinion, if it checks that box, you're good to go. Next up, let's talk audio. Audio is a funny one for me because for the longest time, I just use these guys. These are the Bose Custom Quiet Comfort 35 Wireless Headphones Mark II. I liked them because you could have a turn on switch that turned it to soundproof and the whole world just went zoop. And all you could hear was the sound design and editing beauty that you were crafting together. However, most recently I actually went ahead and purchased the Logitech Z313 speakers as an output source to my entire desktop situation we got going here. Uh, I like them. They're only 40 bucks at Best Buy and they sounded terrible out of the box. But once I tuned them up using an equalizer system on my computer, I got them sounding really good. 
Audio to me is simple. Think of it like a car. In your car, you like it when the audio sounds like and all wonky and terrible, or do you like it when it's crispy and clean and you can hear every single beat with a nice little bass? That brings me to my next point, which is storage. Storage is a very important one, and it took me quite a while to figure out what the hell I was doing. I like to think of storage like this. I have small little drives that can go with me and fit my backpack at almost no extra weight, and then I have big drives that I keep at home as a safekeeping for my footage. My methodology with that system goes like so. Say I'm on a travel job, for example, Brazil. We're shooting a project in Brazil. I don't want to carry a big brick with me. I want to carry something that's small and portable at almost no extra weight. So I'll shoot an entire trip on these smaller compact drives and then when I get back home, I will dump all of that footage onto a big, say for example, 16 terabyte drive that acts as a database and a safekeeping for my footage. Jumping more in depth on that, I recommend these guys for small travel drives. They're called the Sandus Extreme Portable External SSD and I have the one terabyte edition so that it can fit everything I need while on a travel shoot. Carry around two of them and you should too because you always want to back up your footage as you shoot it. For a stationary safe drive, I recommend the G Technology G RAID drives. They come in all sorts of sizes, they are not cheap but I highly recommend spending money in this area because it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of stress. SSDs are just way faster. I can't even tell you how much faster they multiply transfer speeds and they're way safer. There's no moving parts. So your footage is a lot less likely to be lost. I'm not gonna jump too in depth on drives here. That'll be for another video. But briefly speaking, that's my setup. Okay, last but surely not least, we're gonna talk about accessories, the things that help me have a more productive and clean workspace. None of these are really necessary, but I'll show you what I'm rocking. First up on accessories, we have this wireless Logitech keyboard that I bought for super cheap at Best Buy. I don't even know the name of it, and you don't really need to know either. Point is, it's a wireless keyboard, it works, it clicks buttons, and that's all I need it for. Wireless keyboard, obvious reason, helps the desk be more clean and more tidy. Let's jump into the mouse, same exact deal. Don't even know what it's called, it's a mouse, it works, and it fits my hand good, and that's all I needed it for. It's wireless so I can keep a clean setup, but boom. I don't think you need to spend too much money on a keyboard and a mouse, because they both just click and freaking do the buttons they're supposed to do, right? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my philosophy. Boom, that just about wraps up the entire editing setup that I'm using. One last thing I wanna to touch on, but I'm gonna mostly save it for another video, is the software that I use, because I get the question all the time, and to answer it, I'm on all Adobe. I use Premiere, I use Lightroom, Photoshop, and After Effects. However, there's plenty of great options out there. Final Cut Pro's awesome, DaVinci Resolve's awesome. All that matters is that you like the program, and if it works for you, don't let anyone tell you it's wrong. So yes, to conclude everything, we got the Dell XPS 15 9570. This thing is a beast of a laptop. I've got it clogged with 32 gigabytes of RAM. RAM is very important. I recommend getting nothing under 16 gigabytes because Premiere and oftentimes all these editing softwares are RAM hogs. Moving on from that, we got the Dell UltraSharp U2 415 monitor. I discussed it, you know it. You don't need to spend a ton of money in monitors in my opinion. Just get something that's color accurate and works for you in your setup. Attach to that the Logitech speakers and my headphones. Just get audio that you can hear clearly on, that you can work with, that you can hear all the decibels, the sound effects, so that your sound design is proper and professional. Talking storage, this is where I believe you need to spend the most money. Like I said, I've got SSDs all across the board and it's what I recommend for you. Learn from my mistakes. I was using hard drives before and they just transfer at so much slower speeds and are way less reliable. I've had footage lost on them and they're just no good. The portable SanDisk are great for travel and the big G raids are great for at home. And then the accessories that I touched on, that just goes for you souping up your desk and your workspace to get that finer, more productive look that I talked about to keep your headspace in the right spot. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a basic look at what I'm editing on and everything I can recommend. It didn't go in depth. It's just looking at my setup. I hope you got some value. And if you did, please drop a like below. 
And remember, I got links to everything in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. Shoot me a question in the comments. If you have any, I'll be sure to do my best to answer. Yeah, if you got value, subscribe because we got videos coming every single week just like this one and more. Next week, we're gonna take a look at what's in my camera bag, more on the gear side of things, the cameras I like, the lenses I use, so on and so forth. Alrighty, I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. You know, I, I just do that. Consolidate my reasons, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, though? My memory's gone. My memory, it limits me home. No tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone.